happy Thanksgiving are in my kitchen right now. My brother and my, I almost just said my sister. That I'll take that. My mom, they're in the room right now. So if you hear things, that's okay. But today is Thanksgiving and I am baking the dessert. And so I'm very nervous and I just wanna get it started. So I thought I would do a bake with Aubrey. Recipe down below. The thing that makes this a little bit more difficult is I can't eat gluten or dairy. And so we're making dairy free, gluten free desserts. They're pumpkin cookies. My friend Caitlin actually made these for me, which is so sweet of her on Monday. And I ate like five of them. And then she gave me two to bring home and I ate them the first day I came back. And so I just, I just really want to make some that way. Let's get our ingredients. These desserts my mom made are not desserts, cinnamon rolls. Those are not gluten free or dairy free. Okay, I don't think my camera just broke, but I thought it did for a second. Okay guys, I think I have all my ingredients here. Let's see, we have our mixing bowls. Yeah, this is a fit check. Okay, anyways, we need the instructions. I preheated the oven to 350 degrees, and now we're gonna get into this. Instead of dairy-free butter, we're gonna be using coconut oil. Unless should I use the dairy-free butter? I don't know. My friend used the coconut oil, which is why I wanna use it, because it's still very good. getting scary. Scary. Isn't it? Because it could be disgusting. We're almost to the baking part. Right. cheese what I have is I have the coconut oil again powdered sugar vanilla extract and then vegan cream cheese I don't really know what to mix this in though and then be back. Okay guys, Jackson's about to leave because they're going to get 
get Christmas lights and put them up. We did make one and we did try it. I forgot to vlog. And what would you, what would you think about it? Or what would you say? They're good. They're good. That's the final opinion. I tried it, my dad tried it, and I tried, or what? Me, me. Jackson, me, and my dad tried it, and we thought it tasted pretty good for being gluten-free, dairy-free. I will say they did turn a little brown. They're cooling right now. They're a little bit more brown, and I think our oven just cooks a little warm, but that's fine. The frosting was good. Our homemade pumpkin spice was good. And yeah, that is the final consensus that it was good. Maybe when it's done, I'll like show you guys and when we're actually eating dinner, maybe be like, what do you think of it really quickly? But yeah, that is the end of this video. Hopefully you enjoyed. I would definitely recommend it. The only thing is we made our own pumpkin spice. All we had is cinnamon, nutmeg, um, allspice or all ground, something like allspice, I think, and ginger allspice cinnamon and nutmeg but yeah hey guys <laughs> that is the end of this video thanks for jackson for helping me he did a lot of the stirring which i appreciate because now my shoulders don't hurt but yeah thanks guys for watching use this recipe and we'll see you guys next time bye